first guest tonight has it all. He's smart, funny, handsome, talented. He has a dog, and even has a silent X in his name, which is rare. His new seven-episode series is called The Mosquito Coast. Why are you doing this to us? Because we have a problem. So nobody will say what kind of problem. You know the kind of problem that you think, okay, first glance, that looks pretty bad. Maybe if I just sit down and think about it, I might be able to figure a way out of it. Mm -hmm. We don't have that kind of problem. The Mosquito Coast premieres Friday on Apple TV+. Plus. Please welcome Justin Theroux. Oh, wow. Justin. Hey. Are you, did we catch you? Did we catch you? Why in? am I here? <laughs> what am I doing? Here? I don't know. You have Mike Lindell on the show, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing this wrong. I'm supposed to be like the, the Matt Damon at the end, where you're like, hey, we ran out of time for Justin and Matt Damon. No, no. You should be with Mike right now as we speak. Justin, please don't ever compare yourself to Matt Damon. Don't do that to yourself. <laughs> it's not right. Anyway, well, you look, is, are those my pillows you're laying on? These are all my pillows. <laughs> I bought a bunch just for the night. I'm very excited for tonight. I've been gearing up. And so we stuck the whole apartment with uh, my pillows. And we're, I'm excited. You have sports, and I have Mike Lindell. This is kind of my Super Bowl. So. <laughs> Why are your pillows, why do they appear to have some kind of red foam rubber sticking out of them? Because Mike sees red. Oh, I see what that is. Okay. All right. All right. Hey, by the They're way, right. wow, let me tell you what, I really enjoyed myself in the restroom with this cover of Esquire magazine. <laughs> why are we talking about this? We could be talking about mm. Mike Liddell. <laughs> no. Well, no, we're going to talk about you and your dog, uh, Kuma, yeah. who, who made dog the cover. Schmog. Do you think Kuma yeah. knows that she's on the cover of Esquire? Of course not. She's a dog. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the dog should appreciate that. I mean, that's an honor that's supposed to go to people. I feel like I'm on the cover of Esquire with her in a weird way. I don't Did know. I mean, she's she would should appreciate it. I bought her stacks of them. <laughs> have you read this article yet, Justin? I assume you have. The writer describes you in the first uh, paragraph as having an unfrivolous jaw. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I've always said there's no frivolity about your jaw whatsoever. It's very Can we get serious. Lindell. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <that's> <laughs> what? You're not uncomfortable with this, are you? Oh, wow. No, I'm Look not. At that. But I mean, you have basic. This is why Oprah gets such good ratings because you, you know she she puts the you know she put the British kids on first. She didn't have someone before Mike. I Lindell. see. You're right. Before the British. Kids. <laughs> it's like Oprah having Don Knotts before the royal family comes on. You're no, saying <laughs> this is my Harry and Meghan moment. This is your moment. This is why Oprah kicks your ass in the ratings, because you can't get it together. I should be second guest tonight. I do have a Honestly. number of things I want to talk to you about, though, before we get to Mike, and they're important. First of all, you're fantastic in this show. You've been getting great reviews for this. I'm sure you've read them, yes? No, I have not read I've, I've, I've not read them. I've, oh. um, you know, I'm not, because that cuts both ways. You know, if they're a bad review, then I don't want to read it. Right, okay, I'll send you the good ones. They're all good, so you can just read them, okay? Secondly, nice. it, there's a really, I think, I don't know, I think a very cool connection because your uncle, Paul, wrote the book, The Mosquito Coast, and mm -hmm. you are now starring in the series, you're a producer along with your uncle. And that's, I mean, that's kind of great, isn't it? I mean, this is a book he wrote in 1981, yeah. and now you it's, guys are working together. You're playing a character that he created. That's the truth. Well, it came out, you know, Harrison Ford did this uh, in a movie. He right. played the character. I was too young at the time. I was 10. Um, and now it just sort of timed out. Like, I can do it. Uh, I mean, it was really by accident. It had nothing to do with... Um, Really? It wasn't nepotism. It wasn't me calling him going, hey, we should do Mosquito Coast. It was It was already kind of, you know, the train had already sort of left the station with Apple Plus and, and, um, 
and then I heard about the script and then I, I called them and, and I said I wanted to do it, you know, or wow. I wanted to read it at least. And um, and then I got excited when I read the script. Is your family excited about this, that you guys are doing this together? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. They are excited. I mean, it's it's a weird thing, you know, it's like um, they're thrilled because the character is sort of loosely based on like members of my family and, and other people, obviously. Um, uh, but um, it was sort of based on my grandfather a little bit, so. Wow. Um, that's crazy yeah. to be playing a character based on your grandfather. And yeah. the, the, your grandfather was a guy who was like, uh, well, first of all, very smart, also like um, really a genius, like grounded. that character. Yeah. He was very um, thrifty. You know, he would take the kids to the dump all the time. Like that was like a normal Sunday outing. To, right. Like, go to the dump. And like <laughs> his whole philosophy was like, if you can't find it at the dump, you don't need it. And he's not wrong because, you know, I mean, he get shoes, books. Records, door hinges. I also want to mention a uh, prank that you, a very weird prank. I have to say, <laughs> I've been the victim of a lot of pranks. This is probably the weirdest, this is probably the most subtle prank I've ever been the victim of. Why don't you explain this? Because this will give a little insight into both of us, I think. You, you, and, you and our friend John Krasinski like to do big pranks, you know, dropping, you know, six, a swimming pool of golf balls on each other or whatever right. the hell it is. Right. I go for more subtle pranks. Um, and, and Molly, uh, one time I was at your house and you were pulling the tongs out of like the holder where the wooden spoons are and things yes. like that. It's just driving me crazy. Molly always puts these in the wrong way. And then I pull them out and pull the spatulas out and, and, and then they, and then it goes everywhere. So at the very beginning of the pandemic, yeah, that's it. There we go. Now let me show so you show what the- bothers me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> So I use tongs a lot when I'm cooking. And then some people, and I don't know that it's, I don't know who's doing this in my house, put the tongs in like this, this way. Yeah. And I want the tongs in like this on the side, because it's nice, it's clipped right to the side. So you asked Molly to do what, Justin? At the very beginning of the lockdown pandemic, this is a year ago, or a year and change ago, Uh huh. I called her and I said, just make sure Every day you put the tongs in the wrong way. Um, Every I, day I find this. Find that. And it drove and then, me crazy. <laughs> and then after about, I think it was, I don't know, nine months or something. It was five full months that this went on. <laughs> five months. All the time. She sent me a video which was well you sent her a video yeah she sent you a video of me like like going what is going on here but then you sent her <laughs> this you sent me this video finally revealed oh. <laughs> <laughs> sucker <laughs> piece of <laughs> you're so stupid jimmy it was a prank all along <laughs> you kiss your dog with that mouth <laughs> A lot of people like pranks that, like, go out with a huge bang. I like ones that go out with a little whimper. (laughs) (laughs) Well, whatever it was, it drove me completely insane. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. Happy pandemic. Justin (laughs) Thoreau, everybody. The series is called... Wait, wait, wait. What? What? I made this for Mike. I want want to pitch Mike these shirts. Oh, I like it. I I like it a lot. (laughs) (laughs) You know what? I'll mention it to him. The Speedo Coast premieres Friday on Apple TV Plus. Justin Thoreau, everybody. Thanks, Justin. We'll be back with Michael Bell. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. An evil wizard has trapped me inside this YouTube video. Click subscribe to help me escape.